Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Super Wendy Time. I'm here with Axel and he is two months on the 28th of June. Yeah, 28th of June. Today is July 3rd. Um, yesterday he had his two month checkup and all his two month um, shots and like the one that went in his mouth. Um, he has the hiccups, so bear with me. So let's get started with Axel. What do you want to share? Hmm? Where do you want me to start? <laughs> He's like, oh, get these hiccups off of me. So yeah, we're going to do the two month update and then my two month postpartum update. So I'm going to try to get his, rid of his hiccups. Um, got my big list here. He is 14 pounds and 5, 5.3 ounces. So that's pretty good. Um, and his height is two feet. Hi guys, I'm back. So I had to breastfeed him a little bit so he, his hiccups would go away and I could talk without him hiccuping the whole video. Hiccuping. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started. So like I was saying, he breastfeeds, um, exclusively breastfeeds the one time I tried to get him formula, he didn't really take it. He even forgot how to bottle feed. So that's a little like tricky for when like I need to get out, you know, without him or an emergency or something. He's still taking out vitamin D every day. Just a, another supplement. Um, what else? I have been giving him what's called the gripe water that it helps with fussiness and, um, Supposing this colic, gas, all those things. Because sometimes um, he struggles to poop, uh, which I'm about to talk about. And so, um, uh, apparently the doctor said that he's not constipated because he's always like pushing and pushing and nothing ever comes out. Um, it's because they need to, when they have a bowel movement, they need to re relax down there so everything comes out smooth. So he has been having some trouble with that. Hey, right, baby. Right. Um, so I give him the gripe water when I feel like he's pushing and he's just like frustrated and all that. And I also use the thermometer um, up his like rectum to like help soft, like to help him relax because that's what he has been having trouble with. So that seems to be helping. So, but it's horrible seeing him push and push and he's just frustrated and I'm just like can't do anything. So that's what helps. Sleeping wise, he has been sleeping much, much better. He naps throughout the whole day between one hour to two hours, um, and then wakes up again and eats and I burp him and repeat. Um, and during the night, like I said, at 10, between 10 and 11, he goes to sleep until around between four, five, and six in the morning. So it depends, I guess. But, um, and he also, he sleeps in the bassinet at night and sometimes, um, I put him in the crib that's over here. Room tour coming soon, I promise. Um, but yeah, he's getting really long so I'm like, hopefully he fits in the bassinet for a few more months so he can get a good use of it and then we'll see what happens if we can put him in the crib. Room his room is right next to ours, but it's still like, I don't know if I want to leave him in there. Because um, the crib is too big to be put in our room. So, we'll see what happens. We'll get there when it's time. But yeah, I've been getting some more sleep because he's sleeping longer between, I think it's like 5 and 6 hours. At one point he slept 7 hours. As far as him like developing new skills, um, he's been putting his hand in his mouth. Um, I thought it was teething, but apparently it's like part of development, like it's something that happens. Um, he's been drooling a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit. Um, he still kicks a lot, like when we were at the doctor's visit yesterday. The paper they put on the thing to like lay the baby on, he was kicking and kicking and he just like crumbled up the paper his feet were like on the actual like bed table thing um so we have to like roll that thing 
three times because he just kept kicking and kicking and kicking so he's laughing you know you know you were doing that hmm? uh, but yeah I don't have a picture of him like when I have him up in his like thing that I wrap him up at night he looks so long so no wonder he was very long so yeah um, on Monday which was June 2nd he got all his shots on two on the right on the left side and one on the right side and then in his mouth he got that one medicine that goes in the mouth no idea what they're called I looked them up don't remember what they were but they're good for him so they they found like cradle cap on his head um which is like a scaly greasy patches of skin on baby's head um they told me to just put oil like before his bath and then during the bath like just to like rub it to see if it comes off and it should come off um so we're gonna keep doing that otherwise we're gonna get what's called hydro cortisone one percent so we'll see what what happens um and when it's hot outside he gets a lot of like rashes and bumps so i'm gonna try not to take him out too much so he doesn't have to go through that they gave me i don't know what it was but it was uh, i guess some sort of like fungus that they thought he had like down here and in his neck I think it's like from the humid, like fungus likes humid, so I'm trying to like wipe here so it's not like sweaty. It's well down there changing more often. Same thing that I had the thrush on my breast and in his mouth was because of not changing like my bra enough or my the um the breast pad so that's what I'm trying to do more so that I don't get that again because it's horrible pain as well as him apparently he had like a little diaper rash so I'm trying to change yeah, as much as I can even if it's like just pee because it like irritates him down there so um, we're going to try to do that so we don't have to use that cream but if it doesn't work then we'll have to use it until it's gone um, so I think that's it for him. So pretty much he's eating a lot, sleeping more often, um, developing more things. He's still talking. He just, you know, randomly says like the Ooh, noise. Um, we had his little photo shoot. That, um, I forgot what day it was, but I'll try to insert some here so you can see them. They're so cute. Yeah, I think we're going to go into me really quick so it's not that long. So me, as far as like emotional... I'm fine. I'm pretty happy right now. We're getting used to like, or I'm getting used to, um, you know, when he naps, quickly do as much as I can, clean up around the house. As far as my weight, I was 116 before I was pregnant. Uh, during my pregnancy, I gained, I went up to like 165. That was, I don't know. A lot of pounds now last week I was 142 and today I got weighed at the wick appointment and I'm 140 and that was with shoes so it could have been less or whatever but 140 is what I got for my weight so that's pretty good because last week I was 142 so it's it's really healthy to lose weight a slow amount of time that way um, your skin isn't um, it's got like just drooping off I mean it's mostly belly weight and, and my thighs are a little bit bigger so um, yeah so I'm 140 today July 3rd 140 um, my goal is to get to 120 so I lost a total of 20 pounds in two months and I still have 20 more to go to be like the normal weight for my body height which should be around 120 so that's my goal um we still got a few more months to go i think i am starting to work out but the one thing that i truly truly dislike and hate is that i'm not at the level i was before of like my strength um my flexibility it's just really frustrating doing something and especially like push-ups or crunches i can't really do because my abs are like 
on the opposite of my stomach so there's ones on this side and ones on this side so it's really frustrating knowing that you just have to start all over start at zero and work your way up because like I said, it didn't work out as much during pregnancy. And I started a new program that they offer here um, for for uh, recently pregnant women that have babies between one and five. They have like a free Zumba class and they have uh, like a, they talk about like how to be more healthy. So I'm going to keep going to that every Tuesday as long as I can just to lose the weight more and went to the Zumba training uh, to become a Zumba instructor it's um, on a Saturday from 11 like 11.30 I think 11 is the registration but 11.30 to 8.30 so the whole day I'll be there and uh, my mom's taking care of him um, that's why I had to froze my, my milk so he can drink it so he can drink it hopefully he takes the bottle Let's hope he does. So as far as like eating, I get hungry a lot because of breastfeeding. I get thirsty a lot. So I am meal prepping meals. I'm meal prepping um, because, you know, my boyfriend eats different than me. And he sometimes brings like junk food. And I'm just like wanting to take some. And I do take some at sometimes, but sometimes I just go past my limit and it's like no Wendy no carbs no carbs and sweet stuff so I've been trying to meal prep clean eating no dieting because can't diet too much for me so I just clean I just do clean eating I just eat as much clean food as I can um, you know like a lot of veggies a lot of protein a lot of whole grains um, what else things like that a lot of fresh fruit um, leafy greens um, I'll be loving oatmeal in the morning. It's just really satisfying. It fills you up and um, So I eat breakfast a snack lunch Snack dinner and then another snack which has been has become the, um, We have these strawberry Popsicles. They're like natural really good um, So yeah, I think that's it for me And since I'm, he has been sleeping more through the night, I feel more rested during the day, which is pretty awesome. Right? Mister? So yeah, I'm really excited um, for the more months to come. He's growing up so fast. His legs are still really chubby that I just want to give him a little smack. Look at his feet. I think his feet is the same from the bottom but it's definitely chunkier like his socks for like zero to three months literally like creates like when i was pregnant and had a swollen feet like this like is all fat and like just squishes feet as well as his arm his hands i don't put any mittens anymore because they're too small there's no point of buying anymore so i will see you on the next update or the next video on this on this channel and I hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to be your best, look your best, and feel your best. So don't forget to subscribe below, click the like button, comment below any videos you would like me to do. Um, yeah, follow me on my other social medias on um, Facebook. I have a, a page there, Super Wendy Time. On Snapchat, Super Wendy Time. Instagram, Super Wendy Time. Twitter, Super Wendy Time. Barely get on there. But, yeah, and we'll see you next time. I don't know what that was. See you, bye, Axel. I hope he's not going to let me touch his hand. There you go. Bye, guys. Say bye. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let's see if I can cover the screen. <laughs>